Welcome to your reading. We're going to look into your energy forecast for the week of 1st until the 8th of July. Okay, what is coming up in your season? A lot of activities. I feel like Cancer, yes, while it's heavy, this is a season where you are floating. It's like that is normal, that kind of thing. Of course, again, it doesn't mean it's not um, heavy. Okay, so let's see. Three of Swords, Four of Wands, the Chariot. Hmm. Okay, there could be a home situation here. That is a structure, a building, an organization. And that is the highlight of your season. So the Three of Swords is like intersection, heaven and earth. A lot of heart opening processes. I'm also getting aha moments for you. You know what they say about breakdowns and breakthroughs. I feel like you're having both at this time. And the chariot is you being in your power in all of this. The sphinxes are there to do with the heart chakra. Mm, yeah, these are heart opening processes that are happening for you. And I feel like whatever this is, is definitely removing illusions, blockages, on your path to your victory so with the chariot you have victory you have success and everything that it comes with everything that this journey comes with at the bottom of the deck we have nine of wands so this is about resilience okay what is happening for this week for cancerians three of swords clarifying three of swords so yeah, I just want to say that I'm sending so much love regarding this uh, energy. I've been getting it in your readings. It's like whatever this is, it's definitely putting a lot on the emotional area. This may have been a situation that has put you in a third party. Yeah. I feel like if this is a relationship, this person is still in a relationship. There is love, but then it's just not working because, yeah, this person is caught up in something, in a karmic situation. And they are not willing to change. They're not willing to do anything about it. With the three and three coming together, that makes up six words. So it feels like with all of that, you are floating. You're floating. It's a form of acceptance. I see the moon. You're showing up strongly in your reading, Cancer. A lot of depth. Going with intuition. I'm being guided to stay silent here and there in case you hear me go silent. Because I don't feel like there's a lot of speaking to be done here. Hmm. The moon has eight main phases. So the full moon in Capricorn opened up a lot for you. And the next full moon in Capricorn is going to bring a closure. You've been on that journey of alignment with like feminine masculine masculine feminine it's just been going that way you know those games where you go like that and then like that that is what it feels like and this is the four of wands as well it's like like that and then like that it's like you're rolling into a new sense of self a new embodiment with every full moon comes a new you and come to think of it this is how the the full moons are as well it goes from feminine to masculine now there is a difference for this full moon in capricorn is going from feminine to feminine but then you're going to that is why it feels even deeper it feels even heavier okay 
again you could apply this as someone going through this as well cancer i feel like i don't know why i feel like you're floating it's like you have experienced this as well and you're floating so this could be someone else going through this the Four of Wands is clarified by Four of Cups. I feel like someone is going through some really deep shadow work right now. This is the same person that put you in a third party. Ah, I see. Um, the Four of Cups and Four of Wands is... Like, it's like you're not looking up. You're not interested in this. And when we talk about third party, you know, we can think about romantic. This is like, I feel like it's mostly romantic. It could also be a home situation like family. Where you are the third party, like not really knowing where do I belong here, that kind of thing. The Four of Cups is your card. It feels like with this, you've had to be on your path. You've had to go with the divine. It's like it's, it was no option for you but to go with your intuition, to be in your alignment, even though, of course, it may have felt depressing, you know, all of that stuff. feels like you are you're in a good place. There's something that is said about, I think it says the most intelligent people, the people who see the most clearly, the people who have a lot of clarity about the world, the seen and, under, and the unseen, are the ones who actually look at life this way. Now, it doesn't mean that there are no joyous moments. I feel like it's just really connected to clarity. And how in the midst of all of that, we stay in the light. Eight of Wands is a lot of sparks. See that? There, I feel like some people are seeing you. The same people that abandoned you. The same people that you felt left out. They're seeing you shine. They're seeing you rise. You were healing in these places and they never saw you. And your healing was really not healing. It was more of like you were owning who you are. You were, you were going through life. You were, you were being you. But somehow that made you feel... Again, apply this part as it resonates, but that made you feel out of the box, like looking outside, like looking from the outside in. But this was you being you. And it's like in this new cycle, you're guided to be in that you-ness, you know? Every day, be, every day being you more than you. <laughs> ah. Eight and four ones makes 12 ones back to that three. So a lot of expansion going on in the heart area for you. The tower with the chariot. Seven, seven. I love how the synchronicities are happening. Three, three, four, four, seven, seven. Three and four is seven. And I see this as a reflection of above and below somehow. So it's like in your above, this is the light. And then below, this is the dark. There's something to do with that as above, so below. And it looks balanced. And in the middle, you have the four. Four and four making eight ones. A lot of balancing going in the math area, the, the numero numerological aspect of this. Judgment. So there is a major breakthrough that you are having this week. You're having a major, major breakthrough. What you need to be aware of is the sudden awakening. So the tower is sudden awakenings that are going to be happening like 
you know and then the judgment is like the one that come with the big that comes with the big bang I feel like some people are having this <laughs> some people are having this big bang and I'm not even hmm. the reason I'm seeing some people are having this and I'm like <laughs> is because they never expected you to rise they saw you like that but little did they know that you were in alignment protect your energy because i feel like they also could be because they're going through all this they're trying to come in someone is going through this there's someone here who is going through some heavy shadow work and they don't know what to do you could be picking up on this person's energy This is someone you've had to, like you kept standing your ground with. This person called you names. Doesn't have to be in front of you, but even with you, they, they did call you names. Everything to make you feel like you were sensitive or like that connection with self was a bad thing. And now they're having to go through something that you... Mm -mm. you didn't experience a lot of what they are experiencing right now what they're experiencing is a lot more because they they stored in a lot more so what you went through with your shadow work i feel like it's nothing compared to what this person is experiencing because yeah so this is a massive awakening the tower and judgment with the chariot this is like an awakening of yourself nine of wands nine of wands and nine of wands is to stay resilient because whoa and the eight wands and nine wands it shows a spiritual journey this is pretty much a spiritual warfare is happening and the nine of wands is coming in the below so a lot to do with the shadow area so the divine is also showing you what is happening in the below in the shadows that is because you amongst all signs experience this the most and you could have a moon in cancer so if you have moon in cancer i feel like that's even heavier yeah that's even heavier so if for example you are sun in cancer or even rising sun mostly then you may experience it here okay where yes it's heart opening there's that grounding there's a lot of celebration your path is cleared if you have moon in cancer or any a rising or swell then you're going to experience more of this hmm i see and then it's reflecting on your above somehow and the reason this is coming is of course awakenings no matter how we used to it we are not easy we forget the rational aspect of ourselves we can't even think and all you need to do is to keep staying present but the nine of wands coming twice mm -hmm. it's definitely talking about your resilience nine of wands and the tower this is an attack as well explains it. it does add up because this is the shadow areas right so shadow forces and the eight of wands is showing like a lot happening on the energetic level at the bottom of the deck we have queen of swords you know to keep working on keeping your heart lights it does feel like a week of energetic activities mm-hmm it's already happening even as at this time
the High Priestess. You're showing up so much here. And the thing is, the Nine of Wands in this deck has the moon at the bottom. And then this person is still holding, they're still in alignment with the light. And there is the duality that I'm picking up. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, same goes for the same period. Same for the Nine of Wands. Oh, you have some heavy protection for sure. The path is being cleared for you. And how you experience it is going to be different for everyone, but it's definitely being cleared. And let's put, keep in mind that in these processes, because they're energetic, they're happening within. So remember for yourself as much as you can. Yeah. King of Cups, wisdom. There's a lot to do with your wisdom here. Capacity building. That you could be doing some work to do with healing, like maybe your profession has to do with healing. But there's a lot of capacity here. Chakra wisdom, what do you have for cancer? Passion. <laughs> Joy. Grief. I love this. <laughs> I love it. I love the combination of the cards. Because sometimes even seeing joy alone, it doesn't look good. It's like a form of honoring that I'm getting with these three cards together. Passion. Okay, I'm guided to read first. Dancing day. This vibration, this energy is working on air. A pure essence of joy comes through detachment. Daisy yellow is joy but does not experience it. Its purpose is to radiate what is inside. This powerful energy moves and projects forward. It is too detached to be creative, but will draw in assistance in industry to further your goals. So this is a lot to do with detachment, uh, solar plexus. So it's like with all of these processes that are happening energetically, you are guided to detach that in such a way that it doesn't affect your... It doesn't affect the way you operate. It could be in your career. It could be in the way you operate. So there is, it's, in that itself is a big training by the universe. Passion is sacral chakra. So this will be important. Princess of Amber, this card indicates creative focus and an ability to ignite the passion necessary to manifest what you desire. The power of Amber is that focused emotion can create anything, for it brings the gift of emotional discipline. Mm -hmm. Makes sense that joy came before passion. Passion says, I quietly sizzle and shine. You are correct to feel passionate about your position. Follow your instincts, for you know intuitively what is right for you. Personal inquiry, are my daily actions supporting my real passion? What am I willing to stand for? Following your passion, being authentic, taking a stand for yourself, being acknowledged, feeling ostracized by family, friends, being emotionally centered, strong feminine energy, a happy outcome, passion, bravery, and royalty. I love the story behind this card because this person went with their passion not passion but went with their purpose to serve it's all about service and they were criticized by their family like their family was like behave more like royalty and she refuses and <clears throat> the people she is 
working with they hold a free election and to the surprise of the aristocracy vote for the princess as, as their new leader so it's about like a lot to do with channeling here okay and staying true the nine of wands is like the gener generational cycle breaker so you're breaking you have broken a lot of chains cycles curses i remember doing a reading and it says a heavy curse has been lifted that is exactly what it feels like and this is why you are sizzling and you are shining there so cancer if anything i feel like the divine is also showing you what is happening in the below in order for you to continue to shine on the above and to honor you angels and ancestors water guardian connect with your emotions something may have come up this week where there was a lot of disappointment i keep getting that and it was a balancing effect that was happening for you it may have come together like two events two or three events coming at once from different angles it was a test that was brought to you and just by going with your truth it was difficult at that time just by going with your truth you came out of it yeah you you passed a major universal test this week Water Guardian says, take time to understand how you really feel. You know that your sensitivity is not a curse, but a gift that allows you to receive and understand messages directly from your soul. Your angels want you to know that it's okay to feel the emotions that are surfacing in you at this time. It doesn't matter if they are joyous or sad, they are all powerful messengers that allow you to understand what you want and need. Taking time to breathe and acknowledge them lets them flow through you rather than crashing down on you as an overwhelming wave. Note that there are also intuitive psychic messages arising in you at this time, and unless you acknowledge everything as it comes up, you may miss important guidance that can lead you to support and love. Through helping you acknowledge your deepest emotions, the angels of water help you to hear the messages they have for you and to unlock your intuitive powers and the energies of abundance. So I feel like you're this um, water guardian. You embody the water guardian. Mm. The angels of water. Earth angel. Yeah, the nine of wands is like a messenger as well. You are an earth angel. You passed a major test about your position as an earth angel, an earth warrior, and is connected to shadow work. All right, Cancer, I'm going to stop here for now, but I'm going to get one more message for you. wealth you are working towards real wealth and prosperity in your life keep investing in yourself and look into long-term career planning hmm. there we go that is the road to victory and i see the 9999 on that gold uh palette nine 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 with the eighteen. You are an earth warrior, like what we really call that because it's a lot to do with the shadow energies. 
you help others to release reduce resistance that has been coming up in your reading as well all right cancer do have a blessed week and i'll come back see you next time bye bye